Yesterday, news first revealed details of how an entity named Selendivai Investments Limited had been established with its ownership being held 100% with the Treasury. A special purpose vehicle had been created under this company for investments. Cabinet approval has been granted for this exercise under which multiple properties in Colombo and its suburbs will be brought under the special purpose vehicle entity that will fall under the company. The properties classified as the Colombo Fort Heritage Square Investment Portfolio include the Grand Oriental Hotel and York Building, Gafur Building, Ministry of Foreign Affairs and the Postal Department Head Office. Meanwhile, the Sino restaurant along DR Vijayawardana Mahawata, the mega mixed development project of the Water's Edge Hotel, and the International Coordination Centre in Kankasanthurai in Jaffna are classified as the Immovable Property Development Investment Portfolio. Further, the Hilton Colombo and Grand Hyatt are also to be brought under the SPV and will be given away to investors. The cabinet paper clearly indicates that the Rajapaksa administration is acting as a company that sells public assets and is preparing an environment conducive to give away these properties. They are cheating the country, its people and the parliament. The proposal approved by the cabinet paves the way for agreements and companies to which these public assets can be given away. We know that incidents of this nature took place in the past as well. The Maganagum entity was established under the Road Development Authority in the past. The Rajapaksa administration had set up several similar entities in the past as well. The law wasn't enforced against them. Those entities were not responsible to the parliament or the COPE. At the same time, they set up private entities under the Ceylon Electricity Board as well. Today, the CEB is running at a loss as a result of these companies. This allows valuable land areas in the country to be given away to foreign entities. On the 5th of May, a cabinet paper had been submitted seeking to clear a land area spanning 42 acres. They portray the Selendiba entity that is completely owned by the Treasury. But they set up SPVs under that and then paved the way to sell off these assets. Ultimately, we know that it is the henchmen of the government and the thieves who will be the owners of these properties. We wish to stress that this destroys the right of a government. They are trying to sell land area in Colombo, just as they are doing to land area in other parts of the country.